This place that we know and love is extremely beautiful. It has all kinds of beauties. Even the desert is beautiful. But first you have to know, the Earth hasn't always looked like this. 20,000 years ago, the Earth looked like this. A ball of ice, where the mammoths lived like kings. A thick ice sheet covered all of Earth's land. This is called an ice age. Scientists call the last ice age that happened, the last glacial maximum. The Earth's weather has always changed. In the last million years, the Earth has gone through 10 ice ages, meaning the ice was not only on the South and the North Pole, but all of the land was covered in ice. Let's go 94 million years back, where there was no ice on Earth. Even the poles had no ice. At that time, because there was no ice, the sea level was 70 meters higher. And you should also know, 700 million years ago, the Earth was a complete ice ball. Even the oceans were frozen at this time. Scientists called that era Snowball Earth. And you could clearly see it literally looks like a snowball. Why does the Earth change so much? One day it's cold, one day it's hot, one day it's an ice ball, one day it's covered in water. What happens to the Earth that it changes so much? The main reason is the CO2 in the atmosphere. Volcanoes, rainfall, and fossils cause carbon dioxide levels to go up. But these changes take thousands of years. In the last million years, the carbon dioxide levels have stayed low and stable. And in the last million years, the ice levels has gone up and down too. And that is because of the tilt of Earth. The Earth's tilt moves side to side. Sometimes it goes away from the sun and sometimes it gets closer to the sun. This tilt and going far and close to the sun takes thousands of years. So you could kind of say every 100,000 years, this tilt happens. When the ice age starts, it's when the tilt of Earth is far away from the sun. When this happens to Earth, it's not a good time. Ice age has started and it's gonna be like this for thousands of years. When the ice age starts, the ice levels grow day by day. At night, the earth produces ice, and in the daylight, the sun is not strong enough to melt it. And that's why the ice grows day by day. The rise of ice even happens in the summertime, because the heat in the summer still doesn't have the strength to melt the ice. And year by year, the level of the ice grows and it gets more and more. And it gets to the point where all of Earth's land is covered with ice and snow. Another reason that the sun is not strong enough to melt the ice is that the sun's heat can't puncture the ice. Since snow and ice is white, the sunlight reflects off of the ice. And the heat of the sun can't really melt it at that point. When the Earth is slowly turning into ice, it also causes the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere to come down, and the CO2 enters the oceans. And the CO2 that enters the oceans, it causes the oceans to start freezing as well. And you should probably know, the glaciers that are produced in the oceans, it's caused by the CO2 that enters the oceans. This ice age goes until 20,000 years ago. And 20,000 years ago, you could say the tilt of Earth is getting to a point where it's gonna get hotter. And this tilt causes the ices to melt. This melting of the ice causes the sea levels to rise. And it caused the sea levels to go 130 meters higher. Since the ice melted and the sea levels got higher, the CO2 that were in the ocean rised again and went into the atmosphere. And this heat went up until 6,000 years ago. And you could say 6,000 years ago, Earth was at its hottest point. 
And after that, the temperature started to go down again. And day by day, it started to get colder until it got to 150 years ago. And what slowed down the earth from getting colder is the industrial revolution. Meaning humans produced so much carbon dioxide that it caused the heat levels to rise and it stopped earth from getting colder and colder. From 150 years ago, earth was supposed to get colder. Not only did it not get colder, but it added one degree of centigrade, which is a lot. Scientists believe the carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere has been at its highest since 800,000 years ago. And they say by year 2100, the temperature of Earth is gonna go up one to four degrees. And what does this mean for the biggest pieces of ice on Earth, like Antarctica and Greenland? It means that a lot of cities and beaches will go underwater. And they say, if this continues until 2100, the sea levels will rise one meter. And if this continues for a thousand years, the sea levels will rise by 10 meters. New York will probably look like this if this continues. But obviously this picture is a joke. You could see in this picture what cities will be affected by the rising sea levels. And this is the reason that countries are looking to produce less and less carbon dioxide and help the world not get hotter. Because Earth right now is supposed to go down in temperature, not up. Since the Earth is getting hotter, we really don't know when the next ice age is gonna happen. But if we produce less carbon dioxide, the Earth should get colder and colder day by day, and it will get to a point where summer can't melt the ice, and day by day, the ice will get more and more. And we will enter another ice age. If humans are still around at that time, they will most likely make equipment that you could survive easily in the ice and they will sit next to a fireplace, load up old Instagram, and look at pictures from the spring of 2020. And they'll get depressed and say, I wished I lived around this time.